morning world good morning everybody this is alex signing in i will be your host for today now let's have coffee okay let's take in positivity today because i will be bringing you the most exciting the most interesting news for today of course this is brought to us by pcn so guys for first time viewers please hit the subscribe button so that you can subscribe at eos marketplace news okay so guys how are you doing today now i hope that you're happy today and you are doing great we are doing all great today right let's take every day a good day and a happy day right okay so let's start um our news for today guys is brought to us by pcn or preferred currency news now let's check it out the double spend what bitcoins white paper solved forever all right now i remember reading satoshi nakamoto's bitcoin pay um white paper for the first time a few weeks after it was released i remember the phrase that really grabbed my attention we propose a solution to the double spending problem using a peer-to-peer -peer distributed timestamp server to generate computational proof of the chronological chronological order of transactions. Yeah, it can grab your attention. <laughs> right, okay. Of course, at that moment, I thought, whoa, this can't be true. How can he possibly have a solution to the double spend problem that is peer to peer? Now, up until Satoshi's innovation, the double spend was the um, Achilles heel of digital currency transactions. It simply wasn't possible for a digital system to prove two or more different people didn't spend the same digital money without the use of an intermediary. Despite advances in payment, tech, and services, um, the forebears of Bitcoin already existed in technologies like DigiCash. All internet-based transactions still required a trusted third party such as bank, government, or a credit card company. Now, trust is a component of traditional payment schemes such as credit cards, right? ACH or bank wires. But involving third parties into payments adds friction at the cost of time and money. Yeah, it's true. These payment schemes all address the problem that fiat money is paper-based bearer instrument that can only be transferred peer-to-peer -peer in person in the physical world. That assumes that paper money cannot be copied, which of course it can be. Yeah, it can be, right? Um, it's really easy to copy, especially for the high technology these days. Now, solving the double spend problem in the digital world makes near real-time commerce possible across the entire planet without regard individual banking access, <coughs> excuse me, currency denominations or geographical location i think it's a um, i think a large part of bitcoin success is that it was the right idea at the right time between the financial crisis of 2008 and the fallout and subsequent crackdown following 9/11 or the September 11 banking regulations and best practices changed dramatically the result was that <coughs> excuse me banks were becoming more and more inaccessible for those stuck in the cash economy money transfer checking and debit services and obtaining credit became harder and more costly this trend definitely impacted consumers but it also created a higher hurdle for retail banking and financial innovation at the time of the Bitcoin white papers publication, I was building a company in the global mobile banking space. One of the biggest obstacles for growth was managing for all the needs of different banking and regulatory requirements. Those requirements turned into constraints that proved untenable um, at scale. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in that context, 
Solving the double spend problem opened a massive technological frontier that allowed for experimentation and the design and deployment of a new financial sector. The true beauty of Bitcoin is that it's based in open source computer code and it's not owned or controlled by anyone. It is globally accessible in that the only requirement for participation in the new economy is an internet connection device. Yes, that's really the advantage there, guys. Right? You just need an internet connection and you can check, right? Writing the Bitcoin Genesis block, Satoshi warns of bank ballouts. History leaves clues and those who don't understand history are doomed to repeat it. Okay, a new economy. But solving the double spend problem wasn't just a milestone achievement in computer science. We are only 10 years in, but already we can see the far reaching results of what um, permissionless, <coughs> excuse me, distributed economy can look like and what the impacts might be. At this point, it's clear that Bitcoin is not just a new feature set of the existing economy, but that is fueling its own economy that will be built on different principles than what came before. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> By eliminating the need for a centralized middleman, Bitcoin created the foundation for an entirely new banking infrastructure. By design, the infrastructure is incredibly secure. It was created as a protocol that allows other layers, apps, and services to be built on top of it. And that's what we are seeing now. The emergence of Bitcoin service providers. Think about Lightning, Abra, and local Bitcoins as real examples. Today, companies are building Bitcoin services that range from exchanges that serve as basic on and off ramps for transfers of value from legacy systems to crypto based systems. And back again, new companies are using Bitcoin to rethink credit and lending, while others are using the technology to make creating and securing a digital identity more straightforward. Programmable money. It's exciting to think about all that has been made possible and will be made possible thanks to Bitcoin. Bitcoin gives us the ability to be build a future based on sound and pro, um, programmable money. In the future, Bitcoin will make all kinds of financial innovation possible. We hope so, guys, right? At Abra, we are particularly interested in making money borderless. The company was founded to address this issue of near free and private person-to-person -person money transfers. We are also interested in how Bitcoin will enable consumer asset financing in the form of pay-as-you-go style arrangements. Think of it as a hardware as service model, which will not only be massive for technology adoption in developing econ um, economies, but also create opportunities to tackle issues related to poverty and global public health. Imagine our future, guys. Uh, that convenient, right? Now, <clears throat> we also foresee a world of micro-investing in stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, and etc. All made possible by Bitcoin's programmable money attributes. Abra synthetic assets are Bitcoin's collateralized um, <clears throat> contracts that make this type of micro-investing a reality today. Our goal is to democrat, um, democratize access to investment opportunities on a global scale. The programmable facets of Bitcoin make these ideas possible and the greatest part is that the consumer or investor won't even need to know that they are utilizing Bitcoin. Just like today's internet user doesn't understand the ins and outs of TCP or IP when they watch a Netflix or YouTube video, the Bitcoin user's experience will someday be invisible and seamless. Solving the double spend problem 
help move the internet one step closer to its initial promise of an open information network. By eliminating the need for trust in third parties, Bitcoin has become the foundation for the ultimate economic freedom. Wow, this is a good news, right? So let's just hope for the better for our future, right? Okay, so um, guys, excuse me. So guys, um, again, this um, this news for today is brought to us by PCN Today, and you can subscribe. You can also visit PreferredCurrency.News, guys. Okay, now so that you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates. You have two options to pay. You can use your PayPal. Just click this link for monthly recurring. That's only fifteen dollars per month fee. Or you can use the Coinbase option for only $180 annual subscription to be paid with your crypto or with your favorite crypto. Okay, now let's read one of the testimonials now uh, from Michael Narsh. Okay, I came across this website upon my research into crypto and with the help of this channel, I have been able to double my investment within one month. <gasps> wow. Preferred crypto news. Keep up the good work. I love you guys so much. Your content are so great. Subscribing to your channel is worth it. Thumbs up. Wow. Thank you so much, Michael. Now, guys, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now so that you can have the experience same as Michael, right? So, guys, subscribe to preferredcurrency.news. All right, so that you can be the first one to get notified. That's only fifteen dollars, and guys, you'll be getting the information every day. That's via email, okay, twelve hours before we upload our videos here in our channel. So really, that's literally being notified first, right? Okay, so you'll be getting this newsletter like this one, right, and um. All the news are here also not just one okay and of course the Donald's research list guys this is the Donald's research list it's a spreadsheet now if you're doing your research and um, if you if you are having doubts on your cryptos or your tokens or coins then you if you subscribe to us then you can have this copy every day you can have a copy of this and you can compare right you can compare oh what's the um oh let me introduce to you this is the preferred currency dot news 29 october 29 rather 2018 now in this part right here these are the names of the crypto or I mean the tokens or the coins okay now all these information states the status of such coin or token so with just one spreadsheet guys you can easily search for the token or coin and look for its status okay that easy so guys this is not or this cannot be found anywhere else on the internet but only here at preferred currency news so what are you waiting for subscribe now so that you can have the information very accessible conveniently and here just right here in your hands right okay so guys before I leave um, I just want to remind again everybody that here at EOS marketplace news I am NOT a financial advisor okay we are not financial advisors but um, we are here to help you gather some news and updates so that you can make your own decisions but we really highly recommend that you do your own research and then you can decide after right all right so guys bye for now don't forget um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you have um, if you like this video click like and um, comment down below all right Goodbye, you take care.